Egyptian Blue by Marilyn Nelson. From red clay spotted on a hillside, Carver came up with a quadruple oxidized pigment, the blue of a royal mummy's innermost windings, an Egyptian blue no artist or scientist had duplicated since the days of old King Tut. It's the bluest blue, bluer than lapis. Paint factories and manufacturers of artist materials begged him for the formula, offering the top floor of Fort Knox. He sent it for the cost of the two cent stamp it cost him to mail it. It's an indescribable blue. You see it every day on everything from shutters to a child-sized flowered dress. We've learned to live with it without loving it as if it were something ordinary that blue the world sought for 5,000 years. Look around with me, there it is, in the folder on my desk, in my close-up photo of a fairy turn, in the thumbtacks of my cork board holding up photos, poems, quotes, prayers, a beaded ancestral goddess Juju doll, it's the blue of the scarab in her hand. It's the blue of that dictionary of American regional English, of the box of 80 standard envelopes, the blue of that dress waiting to be ironed, the blue of sky in that Guatemalan cross. It's the blue of the black Madonna's veil.